It is a Saturday morning and it's kind of yucky outside, so I thought this was the perfect time to do this. So, as many of you may know, or may not, I recently purchased this Speedy 30 regular classic in the Damier Azure, and it has this beautiful light beige, brand new Vachetta Vachetta um, leather. Now I have so many bags in Monogram that have the same leather that I've never treated. Not once have I ever treated it in any kind of a way. And because I never treated it and so forth, I had to be super, super careful. Um, all of them have done very, very well. They have uh, patina to a beautiful honey color and I'm loving them. But I do know that I spent the years that I've had them really worrying about them, changing out if it was raining, worrying about snow, only using them mostly in the summer, etc. So, this is my plan. I have always wanted to know for sure, for sure, if the uh, Apple Guard repellent and protector and so forth, if it really, really works. So, sorry, I've been running up and down the steps, I'm a little breathless. <sighs> um, so, what I've decided to do is, I purchased this bag knowing that I would use this as my almost, I want to say experiment, that sounds awful, but you know what I mean. I'm going to spray these pieces with the Apple Guard from the very start. I've never taken it out yet, this bag out in the world yet. Um, so I'm going to spray it very carefully and it's going to be used. I'm going to use it all summer. I'm not going, well not, I mean, I will change out. I do all the time, but I will use it rain, sun, whatever. I will be, you know, generally careful. I'm not gonna just like, like a ooh, rain on it. But you know, if I happen to be out and about and so forth and it gets a spot, I just wanna see how it works. I want this to be my experiment bag so that that way, if I know it really, really helps differently and so much more than just having the, the Vaqueta just patina on its own, um, if it really just helps it and protects it and keeps it looking beautiful and I don't have to worry so much about rain, this way I will know for the future of any other monogram pieces that I get, or monogram, you know what I mean, pieces with the Vaqueta leather, I will know for sure whether this has worked well enough to use again or not. Um, I've researched the heck out of it and I know it's a very controversial kind of a thing, um, but I'm going to do my own personal experiment so I thought I would just show you what I'm doing and how it works out, but it'll probably be years before I know how it really, really works. Um, but it's just sort of what I wanna do for my own personal benefit so that I just know how it goes. So, we are going to spray this lady, and like I said, I've never done it before, but I have a, like a plastic kitchen trash bag, actually, down here on this desk table thing. I have some paper towel to sort of block off the canvas, and I have the Apple Guard spray. So that is what we're gonna do. So let's get, let's get going. Okay, what I've done is I've just put paper towel around the areas that I want to protect as I give it a first spray and I'm just gonna to have to do that all the way around um, but anyway I'm shaking it up this is what I'm using the Apple brand guard rain and stain repellent so this is what's happening and let's see how it goes yes this is nerve-wracking I'll just be honest here Okay, it looks like it's drying pretty immediately. It got dark when I sprayed, but the, the lightness is coming right back, which is wonderful. And I'm going to take off this paper and do it on the other side and then re do this whole thing over again. So the whole thing gets sprayed twice. That's the plan, but it needs to completely dry before the second spray. So we're gonna go over to the next side now. So I've done the whole bag twice. I did all the tabs, everything. I have not done the piping on, on the sides. I'm not sure how to go about that. If I can figure that out, I may do that and I will let you know. But I have not done that because I'm not sure how to do it exactly um, without completely spraying all over the place. So anyway, I have just waiting for it to completely dry perfectly and thoroughly and we will have a protected bag and I'm very excited. So I will let you know how that goes. The worst part <laughs> in a way, besides the scariness of spraying it and having it, seeing it turn dark right away, but that lightens up instantly, is the trying to finagle 
um, the paper towel around all the different angles and edges and I used just tape in this in just plain paper towel and by doing that and just sort of taping around to keep it where it needs to be and then spraying that worked out the very best so we'll see how it goes and I will be sure to let you know but like I say I won't really uh, know for you know probably a couple of years how it really really works but more than anything I'm just doing this for my own experiment because I really want to know how well it works um, and that way, if I do find that this works better and I don't have to worry about my uh, untreated leather as much anymore, then I will be happy to use this on all of my newer uh, monogram pieces um, that I possibly purchase in the future. So, just wanted to share, share with you what I was doing. Have a good, good day, and I will see you real soon. Bye.